welcome to my youtube channel my name is Adirunke Adeshino welcome back if you're new here welcome to my youtube channel and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to so today i'll be talking about um habits of attractive people but before we dive right into the video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to like do not forget to comment and do not forget to share without further ado let's dive right into the habits of attractive people Number one habit of attractive people is that they are confident and they practice self-love building confidence in yourself is a sure way to get attractive that's one quality that makes you yourself and also makes you a unique person i'll say don't let anyone dull your shine and own your flaws with confidence on it there's nobody who doesn't have any flaw nobody's flawless we're, we're all filled with flaws we were born with flaws so don't let anybody dull your shine so now that's number one habit of attractive people they are confident and they practice self-love they look after themselves they take care of their mind their soul the two habits of attractive people is personal growth attractive people practice personal growth they develop themselves by setting personal and achievable goals and they are open to um learning new skills they seize every opportunity they get or any opportunity that's opened for them to now number three um habits of attractive people is that they say no yes attractive people say no as much as it, it is hard for us to say no to things to people we just need to learn how to say no you don't need to say yes to everything or everyone if it doesn't make you um comfortable if it doesn't um align with your spirit if it's not something you want to do at that moment it's okay for you to say no you don't have to be a yes yes kind of person say no when you need to say no and you also don't have to be um available all the time when people want you to be available no you don't have to always be available for people and please attractive people say no to everything that puts them down if if whatever it is you want to do or if whatever it is someone is asking you to do it's going to put you down just say no straight up no one is going to hold you or i don't know say no straight up no means and when you say no just stand on your word no means what habit of attractive people is that they practice self-care and this is because taking care of yourself it's a necessity no one is going to do it for yourself of course you have to do the taking care of yourself by yourself so it's a necessity to take good very good care of yourself when you feel good from within trust me it makes you attractive be it um be it taking care of your skin be it going to the spa be it taking a nap be it listening to good music be it exercising be it reading a book just practice self-care practice it because it is a necessity it is something that you have to do for yourself and by yourself Number five habits of attractive people is that they take responsibility you have to take responsibility at a point in your life this is because when you take complete responsibility when you take complete responsibility of your life there's absolutely nothing that can actually bring you down of course except for god when you take charge of your life nothing absolutely nothing 
can bring you down. Number six habits of attractive people is that they um they stay positive and they are happy people. This is because um life is too short, like really really short, and nothing stays permanent. So you need to stop taking negative and toxic people seriously and live your life the way you want to live it but live it responsibly don't worry about living a reckless life because you want to enjoy your life because life is too short and all of that be responsible in whatever it is that you find yourself number seven habits of attractive people is that they are warm and friendly people because this is one of the best qualities of an attractive person because they will never ever make anyone around them insecure or uncomfortable they want to make sure that you you are safe with them they want to make sure that you are free with them they want to make sure that you're happy around them that's what attractive people but it's habit of attractive people is that they relax and live in the present attractive people relax and live in the present sometimes they don't even think about the future and all of that they just think about now now what's going to happen now that's what's more important to them i will tell you to live your life to the fullest because tomorrow is not promised attractive people don't wait for a happy day a perfect day i mean to say they don't wait for a perfect day to be happy or like some people it has to be there just has to be a particular reason as to why they're happy in a particular day or at a certain time or attractive people are not like that they live in the present they enjoy the moment I'll tell you that instead of worrying about worrying about your future why don't you live in the present and enjoy every moment so that's what attractive people do they live in the present moment they don't think about tomorrow because tomorrow is of course it's not promised so instead of thinking about tomorrow why don't you make today better and why don't you make it count last but not the least is that attractive people are authentic people those people don't fake anything they don't fake who they are they are honest people you don't see them living a double double life they are just in one particular place so this is all i have this is all i have to say about habit of attractive people but of course if you have more um habits of attractive people you are you want to share or you want me to know about and also learn about it please do not forget to leave your opinions in the comments section thank you all so much for watching today's video please do not forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to comment and do not forget to share i'll see you in my next video but until then let's all be civil to one another